Orange juice. Beans. Croissant. Fried egg. Sausage. Fried egg. Pancakes. Hash brown. Eighteen. Eighteen boxes of floral cup collection. But I ain't gay. New Paper Mario video out on the MaxMofo Games channel right now, link in the description below. Now, Floral Cup Collection, Series 1 and Series 2. I guess they kind of just be sitting Pokemon in cups. I don't know. Let's check it out. Ooh, first up, a nice blue one. We're just gonna dip our dugong in the cup. These are by Remint, and you know what that means, every box has a little piece of candy. And they're still going with this sour apple flavor. Okay, so we have these two lots of flowers. How do you do this? Do you just, just kinda choke him to death? I legitimately don't understand, it barely grabs onto the side of the cup, there's no holes to shove them in. This image is not very helpful, I guess it's, it's kinda something like that? I don't know. Let's try a different one. Ooh, Ivysaur. The middle evolutions don't get enough love. But of course, he's a perfect fit for a floral collection. Here is our little flower boy. And here's his cup of cold floral tea. Now we just dunk him in. Well, this one seems more straightforward because this just fits very easily around the rim. And then Ivysaur just sits in like that. Very simple, very nice, very... Elegant. Okay, let's do one from series two and see how they vary. I'm sure they're gonna be pretty much very similar. We have a yellow teacup with a nice gold trim. We have a yellow plate with a nice gold trim. We've got the liquid with a nice stand. I don't think this is gonna be any as complicated as Dugong. And we have a little cutie pie Pikachu. Now take this up the ass, Pikachu. Sit down. And of course, a couple of flowers to garnish the rim. And there we have him. A cup of Pika. Okay, another box of floral collection. Ooh. Ooh, this one's fancy. What Pokemon do we have? Ooh, one of my all-time favorites. My favorite being, as you may know these days, Jirachi. But there's Mew, nice to meet ya. Man, look at all the pieces in this. Cup, yeah. liquid. Wait a minute, the Jugong's missing his liquid. Maybe that's why it's so hard to assemble. Flower, 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 Mew. Uh, so, yes? <laughs> Very crowded and hard to put together that one. Me and the boy is going to an afternoon tea. Another. Give me teacup. You've thrown in the whole kettle for free. All right, now it's really a party. Okay. Who ordered the garden weed tea? Okay. I think we've got a twofer here. Togepi and Cleffa. Okay, so we put one on each leaf. Very cute. And there's no extra base or anything. I think that just balances with their weight. A lot of these just seem to be like a balancing act. But there you go. It's definitely one of the better ones. Next! Who do we have in this one? We have our first double. Double Dugong! Next! We have, ooh, I thought it was a double, but it's Pikachu from the next series. And he's back with a similar colored cup, a little more cream this time. A little more eggshell, do I say? Now, we garnish the cup on either side, and I think we just sort of rest Pikachu over the top, like that. There you go, that works. And as I always say, you can just take out these figures and have them as standalone collectibles if you wanted to. Here are all the boys so far. Let's open up another pink box. More doubles. And juice. Why Jugongs? Also, there is no liquid in that. They're all just very varied. Another pink one. Another double. Have we got them all? <gasps> okay, gold trim teapot. Volpix. Yeah, he's a little gay fox boy. He's cutesy enough to go to a tea party. Someone's got to boil the water. Speaking of, here's a mildly satisfying 
cylinder to slide right in there. I like these ones that are just super easy, just straight over the top. Pokemon just sits in the middle. <gasps> nice! All right, we should be done this series by now. Volpix, series one, another double. Ooh. How many more pink ones do I have? All right. Oh, oh, okay, maybe that completes it. It's never complete these days without an EV and a Pikachu shoved down your throat. Sorry, buddy, avert your ears. I'm just spitting facts. Uh, another easy one. Ooh, just a full bouquet of flowers straight in the top of that. No liquid. EV just chills on top, I think. Okay, we obviously have a couple of Series 2 there, but that's Series 1 complete. Now we still have all these Series 2 boxes. Let's see what we get in this one. Ooh, Blossom. I'd be kind of worried going to a tea party as Blossom. Surely she's only here to be harvested for her sweet flowery goodness. And look at this monster flower. Jeez, and a big rose. Oh, plate, cup, plate cup, flower, plate cup, flower, Pokemon, plate cup, flower, Pokemon. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. She's wiggling. She's dancing. Magnificent. Next cup or teapot. What's it going to be? What? Oh, uh, I thought it was somehow another dugong. Ooh, Piplup. Who invited this guy? I guess someone has to supply the water. Piplup. The, yeah, you just kind of just shove him on their back. He just kind of just ch ch hope for the best, I think. He's chilling. Next. In series two, we have a double, a blossom. <laughs> yeah, that's how you open a box, guys. Yep. Expert here. All right, what's it going to be? Another double. It's these two cutie pies. Another one. What do we have in this one? Ooh, Zoroa. What is going on there? He comes attached to some flowers. And look at these deep reds. And a very nice purple royal looking teapot to put the flowers into. And he sort of just sits like so, protruding out the top. Kind of looks like he's humping two half inflated water balloons. And last of all, is it going to be something new? Wait. Wait. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just a double. I thought this was a third version Pikachu. And there should be six from each series. And there's not. We are missing nine tails from series two. Okay. Wait a minute. I think we have a box over here in the corner. This should be nine tails, I think. Yes. A nice violet cup. Some nice flowers to go with it. Some reds, purples, and whites. He is a big one. I guess his tail sort of drapes out the back. And there, there you go. Yep. Can you imagine you show up for some tea and there's just a disgusting dog taking a shit in the jug? There we go, folks. That is all of them. And now it's time for a burning shadows. Let's, let's see what we get in today's episode. Pull it open, give the code card to someone back home, one, two, three, to the front, flip it around, oh, get rid of the fairy energy, bufflant, simmer, pour me a tea, Pikachu, pan, pour me a tea, cutie fly, marzia pie, pan, seer, magic carp, brahorn, reverse, and on the very end, this time, oof, toxicroak, non-hollow, Max Mofo's postcard collection! It's your favorite segment. Now, I have been having a lot of fun opening these. These have been my absolute favorite postcards, and I think we still have some more here that are in that typical style, these 1999 ones. So, let's see what we got this time. Ooh, Kangaskhan Snowman. That's uh, sort of depressing. Like this little fella thinks it's about to get its mother back. He's probably only a few months off from wearing the skull and turning into a Cubone. 
Uh, we've got a Squirtle there. Psyduck makes a return. Um, in the corner, we've got some bamboo. What the fuck is this? Mind my language. It looks like Bulbasaur is growing the bamboo out of his back. I don't think he is. That is so strange. That's very odd. Uh, and then the old Pikachu there. I love these ones. Thank you guys for watching. Please do me a favor and check out the new Paper Mario. Link on screen or in the description. Even if it's not your thing, it does help me out. I appreciate you. And I will see you guys when I see you.